Hello everybody, <clears throat> this is Prophet for God One coming at you with another brief and detailed video. <clears throat> Today, I decided to come out with another video prior to the first one. Um, so I'm being led by the Spirit to, uh, you know, uh, to call out a very certain individual. <clears throat> His name is Pastor Paul Bakley. Pastor Paul Bakley. Oh, <clears throat> and they do tell lies. And they do deceive people and mislead people. And this is one of the many false prophets that are misleading the people today. You know, this person also believes that Donald Trump is King Cyrus. He also believes that he is the trumpet of God. He also believes that, you know, President Donald Trump is King David or the second coming of Jesus Christ and and the, and the list goes on. <clears throat> and, the, and, the, and the list 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 goes on. This is one of the many false prophets that also supports Donald Trump, and you know he he is a idol worshiper. This is what he is, and he is also in support <clears throat> of the rebuilding of the third temple. And um, as I listen to his video, he says, uh, you know. That he is going to go to Jerusalem and collect one of these coins that they uh, are dedicating to Donald Trump. You know, he's in full support of this uh, of the Third Temple. Now, anybody the Lord has revealed to me, anybody who follows Donald Trump, is following the Antichrist. You know, anybody who follows Donald Trump is, you know, following the beast, which is called the Antichrist. And there are many people <clears throat> are slowly being deceived by this, by this, uh, the gospel of Trump. That's what they call it. It's not the gospel of Jesus Christ, but it's the gospel of Trump. You, you know the doctrines when they, when they start presenting it to you. Because they bring politics in the church and they, they deceive the people. You know, they tell lies and say that God said this and God said that, but God didn't say any of it. Because God never spoke to them. And this is how I know God's voice, you know. Anytime God shows you something, he will back up his words. God will back up his words. You know when it's, when it's the Lord. You know when it's God's voice. Not every voice comes from the Lord. Not every voice comes from God. That's why you got to pray and use discernment. Anytime something does come to your spirit, use discernment. Just like now, Paul even challenged the people who he taught. He said these were noble men, but they went back and researched it. You know, anytime your pastors do preach something like this, you make sure you pray about it and use discernment. Because nine times out of ten, they can be misleading you, just like this pastor here. Pastor Paul, Paul Begley, I can, I can clearly say he's a false prophet. He supports, just like now, Mark Taylor, uh, Kim Clement, Paula White, and the rest of these false preachers are idol worshiping. This is what they do. This is what they do. And you can clearly see it because it's right before your very eyes. And I pray that some of you become alive and become awake and, and, and be able to see this type of stuff. During my first video, God revealed to me, you know, I asked God a prayer. I prayed about it and God gave me an answer. And God revealed to me that these people that are following Trump, God has given them strong delusions you know, to believe in the lie. And this is one of the pre preachers now that are now misleading people. And he is, a, he is in support of the third temple. He thinks it's a good thing. He thinks Trump, what Trump is doing is a good thing. Recognizing Jerusalem as a capital and supporting the third temple that's being built. But do you not know that God doesn't dwell in the temple. He doesn't dwell in the temple. 
He's not there anymore. When Jesus died on the cross, there, there were no more temples. There were no more sacrifices of goats, bloods, and uh, I mean goats, sheep, and lambs, and goats, and stuff like that. Because there were no more things. Because Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice. We have a temple. We are the, we are the temple of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are the temple of God. Our bodies are the temple. And here's a man that is supporting Donald Trump. He's an idol worshiper. This is what he is. And you can clearly see it in his speeches. When I heard him say that he supports the shackle and he gonna go, he's going to go collect this, this coin, anybody who collects that coin, you can clearly see that they support the rebuilding of the temple. That means they're supporting the Antichrist. They are supporting the Antichrist. Those people who are following Trump, God has given them strong delusions. God has given them strong delusion to believe in that lie. <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't get it at all. But yet he got so many followers. Oh man, he's deceiving a lot of people. And this is something that God going to hold people accountable for misleading his sheep. But this is one of the many preachers. I'm not, I'm not just pointing this, just at him, but the, there are many of them. Even the ones that laid hands on Donald Trump are going to be held accountable for all of it. Causing the people to believe a lie. And these preachers, they're so blind that they, gonna, that they don't see that God has given them strong delusions to believe that lie. Anybody who follows Trump is pretty much following the mark of the beast. They're, they're pretty much supporting the Antichrist. Because it is prophesied also that the Antichrist will sooner or later come into the temple. And anybody who's supporting the temple, the rebuilding of the temple, and support right now what they're doing over there, the Sanhedrin Council, is also supporting the Antichrist. This is one of the many false preachers that I'm pointing out. Pastor Paul Bagley. I'm going I'm to clearly say that he is a false prophet. He is a false prophet. He's one of the many that is misleading people. Jesus warned us in the book of Matthew chapter 24. He said that shall arrive false prophets and false Christ. If it be possible, he will fool the very elect. And I'm praying that people, that you turn away from this idol and that you put your eyes back on Jesus Christ. I'm praying for that. I'm praying that some of you will turn away from this foolish doctrine and return back to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Right now, God is calling on people to repent and turn from their wicked ways. But this is one of the many preachers that I, I clearly am showing you, and he clearly is a false prophet because he is clearly supporting the, third, the rebuilding of the third temple and also the shackle. Anybody who collects those coins, anybody who gives grasp of what, of what they're doing over there in Israel, and plus, if you if if you're in support of the Sanhedrin Council, that means no way you can tell me that you are of God. So this is what I want to show y'all people. I just want y'all to. I just wanted you to warn. I'm warning you people about this man. There are many like him. There's Anita Frentaz. There's there's Paula White, there's many of them. And they're deceiving the people of God. I'm encouraging you to turn away from this foolishness. All right, that is the end of my video. I'm just about out of time. God bless everybody. And I'll, I will see you on the next video if the Lord's will.